What's up guys, it's uh, Eric with uh, Eric's 928 channel. I just wanted to, actually I just got done showing the garage, I just wanted to show the uh, my Porsche engine and kind of what I've done so far, uh, just briefly. Um, so here's uh, the new condenser fan for the AC. The AC does work. Um, I had some issues with it turning on and off. There, of course, a bad um, temperature sensor down there in the bottom right corner. So you bypass that and run it together, and then right here, um, run those together off of the top of the evaporator. So, did that, got that fan mounted, runs nice, uh, very quiet. Um, underneath there, again, I'm trying to focus this. So, under there is a, uh, a new coil. Uh, that one is... What brand that one is? Anyways, that one's from Advanced Auto Parts, I believe. No, AutoZone. Um, it's that. It's the same brand as the coil. Excel. Excel is the brand. Um, and I got uh, custom Excel wires that I cut to fit, of course. And you can modify the caps on the end of this to accept the uh, the regular style of uh, plug fitting. So, all you do is take the spark plug caps, I mean spark plugs, and take the top off and screw them on down to the Porsche distributor cap uh, terminals. And they fit perfectly, They're, the thread's the same, and then you just snap these on, bam, good to go. So, got all that. Uh, uh, the whole top end, uh, the heads, the valve covers, everything has been off of this motor. Um, so, all new vacuum lines all new tubing uh, and this tubing right here off this oil uh, fill is very hard to get a hold of apparently so I kinda made my own um, and it fits pretty good so I'll go with that um, it started to clean that one up the the uh, radiator the coolant housing uh, I think the thermostats in there I'm not sure didn't take it off uh, so these are my uh, my Wooby. I have um, every one of those has been off uh, ground down by hand, uh, not by hand, but with an air grinder. Uh, so ground down and uh, yeah, ground down to make them smooth and flat to get all the casting marks off of them from the factory and polished and polished and polished and polished and polished with the uh, buffer until they were gorgeous yeah they're beautiful um, also same thing on the fuel rail it has been buffed and buffed and also ground down gorgeous rail uh, and since this rail is a uh, steel it also has a clear coat on it so just to protect them make sure it doesn't rust because it will um, and the injectors it's kind of crazy what I did with them and I it, it's really hard to show like how intricate it is but um, let me try to focus in there if I can hold on I can a little bit anyways the uh, the injectors were pulled all of them uh, I rebuilt the injectors completely um, cleaned them, rebuilt them, uh, the outside got painted with, uh, brake caliper paint, uh, in red, and the two, the hold downs for it, uh, were steel, and I ground those down and polished those out, and they also got clear coated, so that is that, um, brand new fuel lines on each injector to the rail, on um, both sides, both sides got the same treatment. Um, car runs phenomenal. Right now I'm using a low pressure cap until I get a new radiator. Just because, I think it's a 7 PSI. Because I don't want to run um, too high of a pressure. Just right now. Um, the car doesn't overheat with that, so I'm, all, I'm okay. Um, don't want to pop the radiator here because it's old. Um, I do plan on getting one here shortly. Um, like I said, every vacuum line, oh, these straps here, these are all brand new, 
um, they are kind of hard to find, but I replaced all them. They're all worn out and you know stretched out. I uh, the whole intake's been off. I cleaned out the, uh, the throttle body underneath the the uh, whole top there. This is epoxy coated. The whole thing epoxy black. Um, underneath that, yeah, I cleaned out the thr throttle body. Um, there's a mass air sensor underneath here. Cleaned all that out uh, and redid the seal around it so we can push it back down and seal it tight. Uh, all the new lines, I mean, they're all brand new. Um, everything. There is not one vacuum line in this engine bay that has not been replaced. Not one. I've been through it all. Not one. Not one coolant hose. Nothing. All been done. Yep. Uh, new distributor cap. Oh. Can't see it with this on there. Okay. So. I polished out the valve covers. Come on, show it. I polished out the valve covers. You can't see it real well on this. Um, so those look gorgeous. Uh, as you can see here, the uh, all the injector harness, the whole harness. I re, re I made one and uh, with the EV8 quick release connectors, and those are awesome. Uh, both sides. Um, the next thing I'm going to be doing is eliminating. The factory, uh, where is it? Well, that's a tube for it. That orange one goes down here. It, it's a uh, the uh, air pump, and it's it's pointless. So that's really it, guys. Um, I'm gonna take this oil. I'm gonna clean all that up real good and polish it out. And I'm gonna take this oil filler off completely and uh, blast it and polish it out since I got the blaster once I get that together and that will be sweet um, I did uh, clean out the casting like pour it out and clean out the casting on the inside of the the upper intake so it's very smooth in there in, on the inside um, there was a lot of casting that should have been cleaned up probably from the factory um, and also I uh, polished out the inside of these pipes and of course I didn't go for the polished shine I just got them very smooth on the inside of the pipes so that's also one thing um, I have noticed quite an improvement in the car's performance um, it runs well it runs well uh, and that's really it uh, I gotta do the timing belt next and some coolant stuff and replace the radiator with a probably a um, aluminum one from maybe 920 motorsports or other and other than that I think uh, right now it's pretty good to go later on I'll throw the nitrous kit on there and see uh, if I can run a low shot for a little while and, and kind of test that out and so that's it guys I will uh, see you later hope you enjoyed the video thanks